And you saw the documentaries on television where, mm. do, do I not like that? And all that yeah. went with that. Yeah. How did that make you, given the fact that he was such a pivotal influence in your life yeah. at the beginning of your football career, and given the story you just told me, he'll have an even bigger yeah. influence in your life and more value. Mm. Did that did that, did that, that offend you, hurt you, make you want to speak out about it? All of the above. All yeah. of the above. And I'll tell you why. Because Graham used to say to me, and you see, because Graham, he was a very intelligent man, very wise, but he was very naive to a certain extent because he felt that when... So he said to me, for example, when I played for Watford and the fans and the press used to say, oh, you're great because we're beating Arsenal, we finished second to Liverpool. Yeah. Then when I played for England, they were criticising me and it was getting to me. And he said, he said, when the press tell you when you play for Watford that you're brilliant and how great you are, I said, do you believe them? He said, if you believe them, when they tell you you're crap playing for England, you better believe them as well. Yeah. So don't don't worry about what the press say. Ultra, British bulldog, die in the wall, mm. nationalist. He loves Britain. You know, he loves Great Britain. You go through the war, you go through everything. He loves England. He's a real Englishman. He 